Hello everybody. We're going to be doing a smoked barbecued brisket on this video. And uh, we recently won a prize package of Cosmos Q beef and pork injection marinades and some pork and chicken soak that we're going to be sampling over the next several videos. We're going to be mixing this beef injection with water according to the instructions on the package and uh, we should gain quite a bit of moisture and flavor with the use of it. We're going to be using Smoking Guns Barbecue Rub Mild Rub on the brisket and uh, we've got about a nine and a half pound uh, full pack of brisket that we're going to be prepping over the next few steps and get it ready to uh, wrap and let set in the uh, refrigerator uh, and let it marinate for uh, three to four hours before we start this cook at about midnight. So we've got our Cosmos Q beef injection marinade mixed up. We're going to inject it in uh, a one inch checkerboard pattern. It's a pretty standard way to inject uh, most of your meats. Uh, we're going to improvise a little bit and just make sure we've got uh, all the areas filled um, and get uh, a good coverage of the injection so that uh, we get some good flavor. Uh, we're going to coat this brisket with a light coating of yellow mustard and this is really just to uh, provide the dry rub something to adhere to. It really does not add much to the flavor I don't feel um, but it does give that rub something to stick to and we're going to do both sides just a nice thin even coating and we're going to take our smoking guns barbecue rub and apply a nice even layer over this side of the brisket and we're going to make sure that uh, we get good coverage of the rub on the sides of the brisket as well and then we're going to turn that brisket over and apply the rub to the other side as well so we just have a nice coverage on all the exposed area of the brisket we did do some trimming on this brisket. We removed quite a bit of the hard fat, uh, left most of the other fat on the fat layer, except for the point we did try to remove uh, as much of the fat as possible. I'm just about finished uh, with the application of the rub. I like to pat it in, make sure it uh, adheres real well to the meat. And uh, after we're done applying the rub, we're going to wrap this in a couple layers of plastic wrap. Help us seal in uh, all that flavor and uh, we're going to let it marinate in the refrigerator for at least three to four hours before we throw it on to the smoker. We did do this prep work on a clean sheet of plastic and that really helps in the cleanup process as uh, doing the uh, pre-cooked work on this brisket can be a little messy. Well, we've got all the pre-cooked prep done. Brisket's ready to go into the fridge. And now we can concentrate on the cook itself. It's about 33 degrees out. Uh, there's a light, wet snow falling. Um, about a 10 mile hour wind out of the north. And it really shouldn't affect us too much. Um, the brisket here has been marinating and is ready to put into the cooker. Uh, the strategy is to get it into the smoker and cook it at about 245 degrees and we're going to monitor the internal temperature of the meat. What we're going to be looking for is an internal temperature of about 165. At that point we plan on wrapping the brisket in foil and uh, what that'll do is when it gets to the range where the brisket tends to lose a lot of moisture through drip loss with the fat rendering um, it'll help to retain that moisture by being wrapped and we'll keep it wrapped until we hit an internal temperature of about 200 degrees and then we're going to take it out test it see if it's got the tenderness that we want and uh, this is what we have and uh, it is really tender um, a little more tender than I thought it looks like it's retained plenty of juices uh, we did separate the point from the flat so that we can slice them separately 
and uh, it turned out really well. In taking a closer look at the finished product, I really feel that the Cosmos Q beef injection helped us retain some moisture and added some flavor that we may not have had and uh, could have been very easy for this brisket to have come out a little dry but it was very tender had good moisture and uh, we really enjoyed it quite a bit that's going to wrap up our video on smoked barbecue brisket if you have any questions about the pre-cook or the cooking procedures seen in this video feel free to email me at andy at smokeandgrill.com. Please take the time to check out the website, www.smokeandgrill.com. Check out the shopping pages. We're adding new products every day to meet all your grilling and barbecue needs. And we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.